Within hours of today's ruling, Governor Bashir ordered county clerks in Kentucky to start issuing marriage licenses to same-sex couples, and it didn't take long before people were lining up to get one. Victor Puente has local reaction to today's Supreme Court decision. Within hours of that ruling, same-sex couples were getting marriage licenses here in Lexington. The man who helped push for the original marriage ban here in Kentucky that was overturned says he's afraid this new ruling could limit religious freedoms. It feels right. Yeah, it feels right. Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, yeah, this is good. For the couples getting their marriage licenses shortly after one of the most historic Supreme Court rulings in our nation's history, that ruling just made sense. I think it goes to show that people really do know what's right and what's justice for everyone. For the county clerk suddenly dealing with outdated marriage licenses, a workaround had to be found. Now, instead of bride and groom, those licenses will read first party and second party. Other than that, it's paperwork as usual. For me personally, it's a big day. I mean, our LGBT friends have been waiting for this for a long time. I'm happy for those folks that were finally having a fair and equitable way of handling marriage. Governor Steve Bashir ordered county clerks across the state to begin issuing those licenses within a few hours of the ruling. The man who helped push for Kentucky's gay marriage ban in 2004 says traditional marriage will always be between a man and a woman. He worries this new definition will impede on religious freedoms. Will there be those that will force Americans who disagree with the ruling, who have a conscientious objection to redefinition of marriage, will they be forced to participate in something that's against their deepest convictions? Ostrander says one of his concerns is county clerks who may be against same-sex marriages but have to issue those licenses. And the governor has said the Supreme Court couldn't force anyone to believe a certain way. We said it could force them to act a certain way. In Lexington, Victor Puente, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. The Lexington Pride Festival was already scheduled for this weekend before that ruling came down. The most recent bluegrass poll in March showed attitudes are changing, but 57% of Kentuckians opposed gay marriage.